it's time to change Autumn. Um, I'm going to put her into a warm outfit and while I'm changing her, I'm going to give her her bottle so she can have some lunch. Get to work on that bottle for lunchtime. Look at that. That almost, whoop, it almost holds upright in there. Maybe I will, maybe I'll hold that for her for a moment because she was um, dropping it. So it did rain a little bit more and it has stopped right now. And actually the sun is shining through. So I hope that's not a sign that it's not going to rain anymore because that'll be so sad. But um, we've gotten a good amount of rain. Not as, not nearly enough. I mean, we need a lot of rain. Here in California, the drought is super bad. So we'll just let her eat for a little bit. Thought I'd be able to just put the bottle to the side and not have to hold it, but that is not the case today now, is it? Okay. So give her a little bit. I'll finish feeding her when um, she's done being changed. Let's get her changed while she's sleeping. Slid down her chair. I've never changed the baby in the Mamaru, but um, I was just looking at it right now and I was like, because I was trying to figure out where I was going to change her. And then I looked at the Mamaru and I thought, oh, well, that would be a nice place to change her. It's like at a perfect level for me. And yeah, I like it. So far, it's a nice place to change the babies. I might have to utilize this space more often for changing. Let's get this sweatshirt off of her. She has like a little birthmark right there. You see that? Okay. Come on. Let's take your shirt off. All right. There you are. There you are. Let me make sure that she's not blurry. Get the camera screen where I can see it. Okay. <clears throat> I have one of my favorite outfits I bought a while back, even though I didn't have a baby this size for this outfit. I was like, I'll put it on Ella and she can just wear it too big. <laughs> but now I have a baby that is a three month size, so Autumn can wear it. So it's got some purple leggings to put on. We're gonna keep her socks on so her feet stay warm in her shoes. All right, give me your leg, little lady. Okay, there we go. Pull their pants up. Pull your pants up. Look at that. You just finished your pants and your tummy's hanging out for everybody to see. Your squishy belly. And has this really, really cute top. I love the top. That's what I love about it. But it's got, I'll show you a close up. It's got some birds, different color birds with some flowers. It's really pretty. And it has a hood. But I am actually going to put a, um, a cardigan, it's not a cardigan, but a crocheted cape on her. I'm calling it a cape, but it's more like, I guess it's like a poncho. I haven't really figured out what the exact wording is. If it's cape or poncho, I'm not sure, but I love it. I had a few of these made by... Once Upon a Whimsy, and I love them. So, I'm going to put it on her. There we go. Get your arm in there, little missy. Okay. Ah, there we go. There's your hand. Yay, I found it. I found your hand. Okay. Pull that down on the back. Hey, how'd you get one of Jackie's hairs on you? Huh? Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Oh, it's blurry. 
This outfit is super cute. I think I'll put the hood on her. So I've got some little white boots. White Ugg looking boots. Let's see if I can get her foot in here. Remember with her silicone, the foot gets all like bent up. <laughs> so I have to really try to, maybe I'll take the sock off. Might work better without the sock. I want to cram her toes in there. So I try to work her foot through the front of the shoe. So her silicone's not all bent up, which it feels kind of bent. So there we go. It's not all bent in her shoe, because that would be really uncomfortable now, wouldn't it? Okay, let's take your other sock off. But you got lint stuck to your feet from your sock. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, that one was much easier. Perfect. Perfect. Now, let's put this cape <clears throat> on you so you are warmer because your shirt is not that thick. Okay. However, this goes. I don't think I like this hood on her. I'm going to take this hood off. Too much hood going on there. That hood is really big. Okay. She looks like a little, like a little, um, what are those things called? Like you put in your front yard, like a gnome. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> I don't know about this look on me, girl. It's definitely not my favorite. But, you know what? It'll keep you warm. I always said that this doll looks more like a boy. Her face is very boy-like. That's why I keep a pacifier in her mouth. It helps, um, oops, that's up, upside down. It helps add a little bit of girliness. There we go. We could put a bow on your head too, but I didn't grab a bow. And I think Jackie's taking a nap. Okay. Oh, look at there. There she is, little Autumn. She's dressed, looking so sweet. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for watching.